Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 27 and let's play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Okay, time to head back to take on the Armored Harriers again. A.K.A. Iron Clefts. And I want to see if this is the badge set up I want. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't see myself changing a whole lot. Because most of what I've been using is just fine. Okay, wrap it up in five turns or less, that won't be a problem. Man, this guy just cannot commit to a chickadee or anything that's of opposite gender to him at all. I mean, seriously, he keeps saying, hey, I got a quick date. Wrap it up in five turns or less, because I got a hot date that's going to last a lot less than that. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? These ultra hard bots just can't lose. Oh, yes, they will. Okay, this time we got something different. It's Alice. Let me at him. We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Stink was challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner. As if that's gonna help him. Oh, you'd be surprised. Fury, gulp him up. Press R and release when uh, Starlight's up. Like so. Yeah! Ouch! You spiked me right in the... That really hurt! Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us! No fair! Oh, dang, bro! Has he discovered our weak points? Um, yes, I have. Unfortunately, I cannot damage them myself, so what I'm gonna do is defend. There, I'll absorb some damage. Actually, can Mario actually hurt them now? Because I did attack them at least once. So, let's find out. Nope, same as before. So I guess I have to use another gulp. There we go. Finally got the win. That's what you call payback. Or Do we have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez! With this win, you made the Major League! Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and wooly fight. A diggity dang doozy! Keep it up, kid! You're going places, I can tell. Hooey! Come on now, folks! Give it up! We got a new Major Leaguer! Let's hear it for him! Yes, I have admiration at long last! Maybe I can find myself a better princess. Oh, I better get some good fight money this time. Seven coins. And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubba wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Okay. So, how was that date? I thought you were going on a date. Apparently it was with your hand. Ooh! Mr. Grubba... I brought Mr. Gonzalez, as you requested. <laughs> Miss Jolene! You mind your manners now! We knock round here, Missy! I apologize, Mr. Grubba. Don't you worry your pretty little head about none. Now what I want again? Something about Gonzalez. Uh, oh yeah! Uh, don't bring me next to that hand, I don't want to know where it's been. Gonzalez! Yeah, old so-and-so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang! I love when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuckers in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something-something for you. Go on, take it. 30 coins, wow. So, yeah, something else that's been on my mind. 
Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son. But hey, someday, if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. Some hot pink, maybe with some frills or something. You all look a sight, son. Uh, I don't want to look at anything like that Ultimate Warrior guy, please. Anyway, that's something for another day, pard. Take a powder, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me, if you would. Yes, yeah, so I'll let you do up a line of powder of your own, if you know what I mean. Alright, so where are you taking us? Oh, over here. Wow, this place looks a lot better. This is the Major League locker room. You will use this room from now on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. <coughs> Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you excuse me, I must be going now. Okay. I hope everybody's just as friendly. What's the deal? Would I kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh! They just think we're encroaching on their territory. Studly guy, coming through! Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. Yes, that's me. It's you, isn't it? Yeah. You fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you? Ha ha ha! What a waste of time. Oh. Huh? Hey, that's a crystal star over there. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the chance belt? What in the... Hey! You! Get too close to the rock and you might get rocked! I'm not sure, but it definitely looks, looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake! Hmm. What, the belt or rock hawk? Hey. You think you can just smack talk the Rock Hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts. Call my belt a fake, you shrimpy, no belt having whoops! Didn't your mom teach you any manners? Whoa, well, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tell you apart. Remember the rock! How did he fit through that door? Wow! I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Yes, you did. Well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If that dude's bell has a fake crystal star on it... Then where the heck is the real one at? Gonzalez, was that your mailbox SP going off? Where'd you get an email from? And why do I have it set to Iceland for Mario 3? If you want the Crystal Star, heed my instructions from X. Mega Man X? Where the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that Crystal Star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. I agree. But I did get some other mail off footage when I was heading on the way from Rogueport. And here it is. Hey, you know what? My daddy found a new job. He takes care of Boo Boo and Toad Town. He's all recharged now. I'm still not good at studying, but I'm trying so I can help my daddy. I don't know what I can do to help daddy yet, but I'm going to study lots until I figure something out, okay? Well, see ya from Pinty. Oh yeah, that was that kid who had his dad go through the pit of 100 trials and obviously sucked at it. You're pretty tough, baby. But you're gonna have to power up to win here. Hey, where'd you get the hammer? You're buying my style. I'm the hammer guy. Screw you. I've beaten many of your ancestors a lot. I'll be the champ someday, you bet. Uh-huh, that's right. Just like the big legendary champion, Prince Mush. Destroy the foe before you. That is the only concern of a true warrior. Oh yeah, it was that guy that had his ass kicked by Rockhawk. Hey, I, I see a bathroom. 
Occupied! Okay, fine, I didn't want to take a crap anyway. Okay, let me bring back Umbella since we might need to tattle something new. Rank 9 in the Glitz Pit! The Tiny Spinies! In this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you five times, okay? It's just so dang boring when a match is too one-sided. You know what I'm saying to you? No, I like one-sided fights, especially if I'm on the one side. Okay, so this is a very different scenario than I've had before. A restriction where I have to get hit five times. Well, I suppose what I could do, even though it'll make it longer, is that actually kill one enemy and then it'll let it hit me five times. The Thorny Demons! Yep, a fight to the finish with the Tiny Spinies! Wee, it's gonna be fun poking fun at you! Save your poking for Facebook. It's on now. Oh, you got what well, looks like a slow shroom. Uh, I got an idea. Rather than just do this, I'm just gonna kill this enemy. The RS Buzzy. Or, I must be Red Spike Buzzy. Wait, it's not even dead? Wow! It's a red spike top! It's the most well protected of the Buzzy Beetle species! HP 5, attack 3, and defense a whopping 5! Yep, this guy is hard! It has really high defense, The fire and explosions don't hurt it at all! If we can just find a way to flip it over, its underside has defense of 0! And that spike! What a pain! There's gotta be a way to flip it over! Oh, the Gradual Shroom, actually. So now he has, like, a regenerate. So let me use, like, another Piercing Blow. We only got hit once. Now it's down to 1 HP. I think I'm gonna swap Goombella out and bring in Koops. I could bring in Fury, but you know, I might as well just go with Koops for now. It's two. It's three. Another piercing blow should do it. There, we finally got one dead. This is not going to do much. I think that's four. So, I think I'm just going to defend. You too. And that's five! There, that's a condition. Now let's use a Quake Hammer. Bad boy to rest. Whoops, now Koops can finish it off. Done! Get used to it, Koops. We've been winning a lot. Well, at least the fight money's better. I mean, this is the Major Leagues, after all. And now I really need to rest. I mean, taking a beating is obviously damaging, which is pretty much the point. That's much better. Yeah, reserve a match. As usual. The Poker Faces! In this battle, I want you to avoid using any of their special moves. Okay, so no special moves. Simple enough. Alright, we'll beat those Lady Gagas. It's bad enough having to deal with one, but two? Or three? Or four? Oh, no, wait, never mind. It's just bristles. 
The ultimate weapons! Oh, poker faces. Ooh, you're gonna be cool slot, kid. And that ain't good. That ain't good, because I don't like coleslaw. No special move. Simple enough. I mean, look, I'll just use Quake Hammer. And then we're done. Look, I win. Nothing to it. And we're still piling on the victories. And piling on the cash. Even better. Fine, I'll check my mail. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit from X. So we're the next guy again. Great. The watering hole, huh? If you say so, X. Who is this mystery guy? I don't know, but we'll find out soon, hopefully. But first, let's save. We made a nice bit of progress. Watering hole, so that's obviously the juice bar. That's simple enough. But why would we need to go there? Let's see, do we notice anything different? Go outside, that's what I'm doing, but I didn't go out here to pick up an ink coupon. Maybe I actually have to go in the juice bar. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez! Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit... By the door a bit ago. The letter said look for a thick stash man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this this letter was talking about is, well, this. Alright! Super Hammer! You again. Hey, it's me again! Toadette! It's so nice to see you again, Mario! Congratulations on getting that Super Hammer! It's way more powerful! Plus, you can also use a wicked cool new technique. Wanna learn about it? Sure you do! <laughs> Why'd you ask? Let's practice. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. That's what she said. Hold down B and rotate the analog stick until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before releasing B. Okay, like so... There. That's how you do it. Ooh, excellent, Mario! You're so awesome! You wanna try it again? No, I got it. Okay, great. You've mastered the Super Hammer! With the Super Hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this! And we've seen plenty of those, even in the sewers. Oh, gee! I almost forgot! You can use the Super Hammer in battle, too! Try it! <coughs> See you later, Mario! Good luck with your quest! Who would deliver a hammer to me, anyway? So far as I could tell, that hammer's a new model! The Hammer Whack 2005! Real nice hammer all around! Solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonk ability. And not made in China, either. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Another email. Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room from X. The blockade in the minor league locker room, huh? What's behind it, you think? Uh, I don't know if we'll actually be allowed to go in there. Remember, we're not in the minor league anymore. Unless we were to lose a whole lot just to get in there. 
which would be utterly pointless. Why would we do that? Ah, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got the word that you wanted to move back down to the minor league again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. What the hell are you doing, Bandy Andy? Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I'm doing a little... research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? No? Yes, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but... The Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Which one do you want to hear about? The sealed wall. They say there's a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Some say the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. Uh, that sounds kind of creepy. The man-eating toilet? They say in one of the arena's bathrooms, a man-eating toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again. Uh, maybe it's because it's just a powerful toilet that's cleaned so well it blinds people. Stairs a mystery. They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor, but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that groaning voice does sometimes come from that second floor. Oh, what else you got? The haunted boudoir. They say that the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in the room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. Okay, most of these wonders are actually connected to one another. My friend's friend's friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. And here I was thinking you were a stalker. They say, sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. Why do you always say some say for everything? We get it. Rubba's a strange one. His body's incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then, there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say, here we go again. She suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. Was that you? But she never did. Huh? You think a stranger that someone st staked out her bathroom? Good point. Alright, why don't we go check out this whole room in the minor... Oh, how's it feel to be in the minor leagues? Hey, it's Mr. Stinkwad. What are you doing here? Ah, I'm just here to taunt you, but more importantly to check this out. Ah, hidden passage. Is there anything hidden around here? Doesn't look like it. But how the hell am I supposed to get this? Ah, Fury, of course. Thank you! The dubious paper. A letter that looks like it has lots of important stuff in it. Whoa, well, Gonzalez! That's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars! Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures! Why leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business! Maybe we should just leave. Uh oh. You again! Mr. Gonzalez! What are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's kind of hardly, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls. Hmm? <coughs> I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. Wait, how did you know that was even in there? Now this is very suspicious. Dang, what's with her? We busted our hopes getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star is here. Good luck. 
Why don't I just say it to that guy's ass? Don't ask. Okay, so we made a nice bit of progress, and now we know that the Crystal Star is indeed here. Which is good. So anyways, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next video, we're going to continue rising through the major ranks. Goodbye, everybody.